welcome everybody to the uh, obligatory beach episode of the Jelbo <laughs> Videos Watching Animu Club podcast. So we're at the beach, apparently, is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, 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 we're wearing our bathing suits. We're just hanging out in the yeah, water. Yeah, man, I'm wearing my speedo, looking yeah. hot. Like I worked out enough, but I still feel a little paunchy, but it's cool. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're in New England and it's like February and it snowed today. <laughs> yeah, I'm that dude who's just wearing like his one piece that's just like, <laughs> just covers my whole like torso, but says my name on the chest part. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about a banana hammock. I was like, no. gross, bro. But good for you that you have that confidence. I couldn't fucking do that, man. Really couldn't. Anyway, if you couldn't tell, we're, this time we're talking about the obligatory beach episode of Gabriel Dropout. Episode four. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we had this remember. argument last time when it was yes. like because it was episode four of the podcast but episode three of that particular show whatever so it's the beach it's summer vacation and vina's like i want to go on a trip to the beach and have fun with my friends good old raphael and gabriel and sataniel and sataniel what Sounds like you. Sounds like some kind of thing. Satanial, like satanial ointment. Go buy some. Ooh, I could use that. Sounds so, now it's just sound like masturbation stuff because you're just like, ooh, I could use. It. I'm like, I mean, it'd be nice. It'd be like the warming type. The warming type. <laughs> yeah, man, they make warming lubricants. Not that I used it on myself, but I've used it on myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever floats your boat, man. Get the- Hey, buy one, get one free. Satanial <laughs> oil. Satanial oil. By Jelbo Videos. It's Jelbo approved. Uh, well, at least one I'm of us did because of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, uh, so Vine is talking to the crew, and they're like, "We should totally go to the beach." You know, they have the usual. You know, we have two weeks off or something. It's like, okay, that's a shitty summer vacation. Yeah. But I know in Japanese, um, Japanese uh, school, it's like they don't have that long. And I know, like, they even have long... Do they have longer weeks? I remember learning that a long time ago, but I don't know if it's true. I mean, I grew up in the South, so they maybe they're just, like, making assumptions. Like, oh, in Japan, they, they have six days a week, but it's, like, a half day on a Saturday. I don't fucking know. But, uh, yeah, so that goes on. And Satania is just chilling by herself. <laughs> yeah. And so... Poor sweet Satania. Yeah. What is it? So Vine is like, yeah, we should definitely invite Satania. But then, what happens, Drew? Fucking Raphael's just like... Wait, Vine, let me tell her. And he's like, so she walks over there and like, because before this, Satania was like, God, why are they making plans without me? <laughs> it's like, she's like, oh, maybe they're just being considerate because I'm always so busy. And it's like her schedule. She opens like her, her planner. And it's like, there's nothing. <laughs> nothing. On there's the nothing days. there. She's like, oh, okay. So but. She's, she's just being subtle about it too. It's just like, oh, I'm so free. People can hang out with me over maybe at a beach. Maybe it's like, yeah, I'm a dude. I'm always busy, but, uh, you know, for some reason, during the <laughs> summer, like, I'm totally free. Like America. Yeah. <laughs> so Raphael comes over and says, like, hey, Satania, we're all planning to go to the beach. He's like, really? That's it. <laughs> She's like, yes. And just walks away. <laughs> and just fucking walks away. So Satania's just, like, traumatized. <laughs> Even yeah, she has that like, funny like, face where he's like, yeah. God, there's no pupils. Yeah, I love color. that. She's just, like, so sad. It's just, like, my poor sweet Satania gets so, like... God, you sound just, so creepy when you say that. Because she is just amazing and she's adorable. Yeah. And maybe. So maybe. then uh, Gabriel walks up to her. What did I, dude, I totally forgot what she says. I'm not very good at Gabriel this. was just like, don't worry, Satania. I decided to go too, so I'll have as much fun for you as well. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucked up. So, of course, like I said before, Vina being the equalizer, like, ugh, fine. Hey, uh, Satania, we're going to the beach. Uh, I know you probably overheard us. You want to hang out? And, of course, Satania being Satania is like, yes. I mean, yeah. You know, of course you want to hang out with me. I, I guess I can show up. Turns like, motherfucker. It <laughs> comes all sundere all of a sudden. Yeah, she does. she's like, yeah, I guess I'll hang. It's like, god damn it. That's always a funny quality, though. Yeah. Uh, and Vine is just, she's very resourceful, apparently. I, we're not really sure about this, but apparently we think she made this pamphlet. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the pamphlet, uh, I was thinking, like, is that, like, did they buy it there, or she she got it somewhere, and it's like, oh, she's totally playing for the beach, or is it from heaven or from hell? Because they're always yeah. like, these are human activities, so it's like, I need a human activity for the summer. All right, well, here's this book, but I think it just might be just the usual, to- uh, like a tourist book, yeah. because like they would most talk about like what humans do, so to speak. Because uh, I'll explain a little bit later. Um, 
you know, they do quote unquote human stuff, but they just said, I saw it on TV mm. or I, I heard they do this. Uh, but in the book, it's actually just, uh, what is it? Like places to eat, what yeah. to do. So I, you know, I like think, a typical nah, travel com- coming second, second round. I'm like, yeah, they probably just picked it up. Yeah. I just picked it up. But it's like 25 pages. And I'm like, I don't know if a travel guide's usually that long. I mean, some places, like, do you ever look at travel guides, Drew? No, not, exactly. not you just, one of my you, hobbies. <laughs> yeah, you know, I look at travel guides, brah. <laughs> it's my first thing I do before I take a trip. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you know guys see it. You go see those places in the mall. And they just have pamphlets because, yeah. like I said to Drew a bunch of times, people are lazy. They don't want to read a fucking 25-page no. book. Here's a three-fold pamphlet that you can print out. <laughs> yeah. And you can just look at it. And it'll be like, resort, beaches, drinks. And like, that's it. Because why? What do you care about? The resort, the beach, and what you can drink. Fuck it. <laughs> I've actually made pamphlets before in my graphic design Who class. Who fucking hasn't made pamphlets in school, bro? <laughs> I don't know. I mean... uh, actually, no, no. Let, let, um, let me rephrase that. Yes. Because you're in a graphic design class, you made good pamphlets. <laughs> it wasn't just slap in a pan, go in a fucking Microsoft Word, yeah, put it no, on pamphlet no. format, and just slap whatever the fuck. No, you want we on used it. like the actual program. It was like set up the borders, set up the guidelines, use text, and like place everything where they need to be. In the like, words of Jerry from uh, not the Office, fuck, uh, Parks and Rec, use Comic Sans because it looks like it says fun. <laughs> What? And we all know <laughs> Comic Sans is not fun. <laughs> it's the worst font you could use for something professional. Yeah, I, I love I love how Comic Sans as a text is just I know, as a font is just the butt of every joke. Yes. Especially with graphic design majors. Oh. I dated a graphic design major and one time we ordered a Chinese menu and she's like, look, look at that. Like what? It's like they fucking wrote it in Comic Sans. <laughs> I, it was like, open to 11. Comic Sans fun. And I was like, that's fucking... Yeah, sure. I At the time, that. I didn't know. I was like, all right, okay. <laughs> it's like, you wrote it in Comic Sans. I'm like, all right, like, what, what, do you want, what do you want me to say? Yeah, I'm that guy too. Like, I noticed, like, design choices of, like, posters and things. I'm like, this could have been done so much better because I did three, like, three years of that in high school. So I was like, I know, I feel like I know what I'm talking about. I, I, you know, it's definitely... Uh, I, when I started looking into more uh, graphic design stuff, it's actually really interesting. Mm. And, like, I never really got into it, but I definitely give it a second look. Especially, like, when it comes to anime and, like, things you get. It's like, I want to see what it is. Like, getting physical copies, opening it up and looking at them. Yeah. Because you know you have a few physical copies. Mm-hmm. But, uh, fucking Sidetrack City. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite city. Yeah, best city. Because, you know, we like to go on that. Uh, where the fuck were we? Yeah, uh... Oh, yeah, we were talking about pamphlets and comic <laughs> fucking sans. Oh, you know what else sans? Uh, Undertale. And you know what after that? Homestruck. After <laughs> Homestruck, we're gonna go straight to fucking Salad Fingers. <laughs> this is how far and deep into the web we're going, guys. Let's talk about Newgrounds and no, AOL. we don't got time for that. We gotta talk about, uh, Raphael and her weird obsession with having a page on their body measurements. But I was gonna go from there all the way to the beginning of time, you sure? Yes, Damn. we don't have time for that. Damn. We don't have time to go back to the beginning of time. <laughs> we'll go back. Yeah. yeah <laughs> sure. But yeah, Raphael just really wanted that page about their body measurements for yeah. some reason. Yeah, oh, there's nothing wrong with the book. Uh, there's nothing about body measurements. And like this goes, it plays more into the, she is playing the dunce. Mm. I like that though, because it's cute in my head. Yeah. Because like, she knows what she's doing. And I'm not saying like stupid, like, oh, you know, the stupid girl doesn't know anything. It's like, she's playing, it's like, no, she's playing the part of like, I'm going to say stupid things because I think it's funny. Yeah. Because that's what I do. Yeah. So, like, I, I will say, like, I am a perpetrator of, like, uh, say this thing because it's funny and I sound dumb. Why? Mm. I don't know. It just goes. Yeah. Because today, at school, I know another tangent. Yeah. Because uh, I was actually mentioning how I watch anime. And someone's like, yo, I was going to go buy headphones because we were in school all day. We wanted to listen to music while doing work. And I was going to go to the local Five Below. And my friend over there, she's like, oh, are you going to fight below? It's like, yeah. It's like, can you get me headphones? Give me money? Sure. It's like, what do you want? Like, you want, like, designs on it? You want, like, <laughs> you know, me being me. I'm like, you yeah. want, like, some Mickey Mouse, some princess <laughs> stuff? She's like, you think I'm, you know, she's like, she's not the, uh, you know, the cuddly type. You know, she's <laughs> like, you should kick your ass. I can tell you that much. So, you think I like that stuff, Ryan? I go, uh, I go, oh, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm pretty cool, yet... <laughs> I watch anime, so, you know, looks can be deceiving. 
She's like, I saw you play Pokemon Go like earlier this year. I don't think you're that cool. I was like, oh. I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but you know, like playing that yeah. gun type. I was like, you know, whatever. See, that's the difference between you and me. You see cute and fun. When I saw that, I think she's a fucking creep. Because I thought she just wanted to like laugh at Satania or something and be like, "Hi, you have this size chest." Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I just, I think of. I Raphael, thought you were still talking about my friend saying, "No, hey, she was creeping on me earlier in the year." Like, nah, man, I was walking around the school with Pokemon Go. Like, a no, fucking I'm talking about the, the show because like Raphael, I think is a creep. I don't care. Like, she, she creep. creep. She creepy. Yeah, she, yeah, okay. She creep a little bit. I like that. I mean, like it goes back to my Yandere stuff, but we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, so they, they get to the beach. They go on the train, and they're, like, saying, too. They're like, the beach, the station. Yeah, I was like, the, the train, the station. I'm like, okay. And Granted, then, I got hyped for it, too. I was like, yeah, <laughs> the fucking beach and station, bro. And then it was raining. It was fucking raining. But let's not forget, Satania had, like, I you right. know, I like to give Drew shit for Satania, but, God, she had that dolphin, and she was just had it. I'm like... That's fucking cute. Like, and she was like, it was cute, dude. She was so sad, and she was talking to, G to Gabriel, too, and she was like, well, what do I do now with this disappointed dolphin? I love that she called it because she's like, yeah, because it's raining. She's like, deflate it. <laughs> like, what is she, Tom Brady? Oh. Ooh. No, it, it, before you guys get mad, <laughs> I'm a past fan. I don't seem like it because we're talking about anime. We don't talk about sports except for that one time in fucking the AAC video, and it wasn't even us. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but hey, man, Super Bowl this weekend. Motherfucking Pats. Oh, man. Jalbo can... videos supports the Patriots. Just saying. Look at that live subscriber count. I can see it taking a small drop when you said de when you mentioned Deflategate. <laughs> and now it's starting to pick up a little bit, I think. But uh, I think we're just going to have to endorse uh, sports more. But we're talking about anime, so we can't do that. Yeah, dude. Fucking foosball. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so the uh, Raphael is like, don't worry, I got you. So she, she takes out her no, phone. No, she doesn't even say anything. She just makes the fucking phone that's, call. That's true, too. But and uh, VNA is like, hey, uh, what what was that? It's like, oh, I just made a phone call to an old friend. <laughs> then Satania goes, look, there's a break in the fucking clouds. And it just, describe it, Drew. You describe <laughs> it better than I did when we were talking this, about like, it. Like, when you imagine, like, sudden, like, the like, weather change. The weather changing, and you'd think it'd be, like, all, like, majestic and have, like, a choir singing as the, that, yeah, as the that's sky the thing. parts. Oh, it opens and then up. like the light, the one single beam of light. It's like, no, the sky just goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, like. It just opens. Yeah, it's just like fast and like, like it's no big deal. Like this happens every other day. It's like when the toast is really hot and you try to put butter on it really fast because the butter's cold. So it melts fast and you spread it around before it gets all gross. Yes. Hey, what, you never done that, bro? <laughs> no. Then again, I realized that, like, as an Asian household, like, I don't know, like, I've been to people's houses and they don't free, they don't refrigerate their butter, and some people do. So, I refrigerate my butter. Yeah, I knew someone who didn't. That's fucking weird. Doesn't butter melt if it's not refrigerated? I don't know, dude. It just freaked me <laughs> out when I was at their house. The butter's over there. It's not in the fridge. Like, why? <laughs> we gotta talk about when it's super hard. You try to put it on the toast before it fucking, like, doesn't get soft. I mean, I guess. I'm trying to trying to describe here, Drew. You killed okay. me. Okay. Whatever. God, I sound like a fucking weirdo now. <laughs> Point is, the sky is free, and they go to the beach, and everyone's happy except for Gabriel because yeah, she didn't want to go anyway. Who fucking just opens up parasol, whips out the laptop, and just like, I'm playing games. Fuck y'all. So they got to do their best to fucking convince her yeah. that the beach is fun, and they're like they're each trying their own thing to get her to like. You know, stop being such a, a shut-in and, like, <laughs> go have fun for once like a goddamn family. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and, and, like, at this point, actually, it's funny that you say that. I do recognize them as, like, a group of friends. Mm. Like, I totally just... It comes out of my head. I'm just like, oh, yeah. I forgot. They're, they're angels and demons. Just just totally goes out of my head. I'm just like, yeah. all right, look how much fun these these uh, these main characters are having. This is awesome. Like, this is the beach episode. Uh, why don't you explain Satania? I also play in <laughs> So, so, yeah. yeah. So Satania's idea to get her to uh, have fun is like, all right, guys, I'm going to teach you about surfing because I saw it on TV once and thought it looked cool. <laughs> and there's like this picture of like a really cool guy with like... No, no, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's what it is. It's a really cool guy. Yeah, he's like... He was like blonde hair, <laughs> like super ridiculous high pompadour. Yeah, like, like fucking uh, like a lot. Yeah, he like, did. Like from did. fucking Akame Gone Kill. But it wasn't as like prominent as his, more like no. a, like a, like 
a step above Elvis, but maybe <laughs> three steps down from Bulat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it was. <laughs> totally and he had like was. chest hair and shit. And like <laughs> he's just and hanging he's tan. Doing, yeah, he's just hanging tan. He's doing like the t- the pinky and the thumb thing. And <laughs> in English, just says, hey. And then you hear you hear some guy like some small voice like hey. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, hang in 10, dude. <laughs> so it's a tiny... She doesn't even have a surfboard. She just uses her, like, inflatable dolphin. And it's, like, the famous gif you see in this is her just swimming out, which is yeah. so cute. She swims out and stands on it for, like, like maybe two seconds. And then <laughs> like, falls oh, she's in standing on it. Oh. <laughs> and then she falls in and just spits out water. It's like, oh, it's so salty. <laughs> and then Vine tries. And she's like, I'm going to show you how to build a sandcastle. Now... What I'm going to say is the same thing I said before about their personalities. Because mm. Tanya is like, motherfucking beach, bruh. <laughs> Let's go surfing, bruh. Like, just getting yeah. into it. And she's having a good time. And then some, okay, something wrong, as in falling, goes. And she's like, ah, it's salty, but she's okay. Vine is, like, the calm type, the very level-headed. So what does she do? She likes to build sandcastles. And they show her build it. It starts off like, watch this. And they have the background chase. And it just goes, <laughs> it's just fucking boring as yeah. shit because you think oh you know someone builds it but like I said like what I just said it was just audio of her spraying it and taking a fucking what is it, not a toothpick a fucking like popsicle stick yeah something like that just to form a castle and it's just like I didn't realize how boring that is but you know how that can be fun because it's just working on something very slow taking your time v pretty much yeah and it became like boring <laughs> she just straight up says that. I never realized you could use like the the spray bottle thing. Yeah, to, dude. Like, like it. me too. Like I knew of it, but I'm just like, oh my god, she's bringing out spray. I was like, she really wants to get it. Yeah. Right. Because like you know, like with me being a kid, like if I tried it, quote unquote, like I just bring a bucket. Yeah, that's and, what or, I or a pail and fucking just grab it from the thing, kind of splash it down. And of course, me being a fucking kid, I don't understand water pressure. So I'm like, all right, put some water on it. And just like, don't tilt it lightly. Just throw some water on it. Fucking just falls. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, how can it look so easy? <laughs> didn't realize. No, you lightly spray. You lightly you like spray yeah. a fuck. I didn't know that. I've, I've never even like been to a beach. I think I've been there like twice in my entire life. Really? Yeah, I've, I don't. I just, I don't like beaches. I mean, I don't blame you, to be honest. Uh, for a while, I didn't like beaches, uh, just because, like, I was a little bit heavier. Yeah. I, that, that, that's just me. But, like, yeah. you know, I had girlfriends who liked to go. And then uh, my friend Grant, uh, last year, he lived in um, fucking some really nice area. And they had nice-ass beaches. And so he's like, yo, I'm, like, there almost every other day. Like, when he's not working, he's at the beach. Because it's only, like, ten minutes from his house. Nice. So it's like, if I'm not here, I'm going to the beach. Come find me. Hang out with me this day. Dude, like, we go to the beach, we hang out, he bring beers and shit. Hmm. It was awesome. Yeah, I'm just Even not... though you can't bring beers, but, like, we brought <laughs> beers anyway. Yeah. Great, my fucking accent's <laughs> coming out. Like, you, you'll notice that, like, I say y'all because I'm from the South, but I also say things like beers, which is, like, a northern thing. <laughs> I didn't realize I said that until, like, my cousins visited me. Like, Ryan, what the hell are beers? <laughs> like, fucking beers, dude. Like, what do you think they are? <laughs> like, you drink them, the beers. Coors Light, Bud Light. <laughs> I don't know, I named like the two shittiest beers out here. Yeah. Anyway, I'm done saying beers. <laughs> I'm just like not a fan of the sand. It's just, it's rough and coarse and it gets everywhere. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong with you. <laughs> you know what I'm quoting, right? I kind of, but I forgot. Anakin from Attack of the Clones? That's oh like the thing everybody makes fun of God. when he talks about sand. It's sand so fucking for I was like... I know where this is from. from <laughs> it's like, remember before, I'm just trying to get it out of my head. <laughs> just something stupid happened, and I'm like, nope, there is no... S- I don't need another fucking crease in my brain to remember that fucking phrase. I am all set. Thanks for putting one there, Drew. You're welcome. That's my job. That's why so I'm So I was here. like, fuck. And then it's like, it's like fucking major. Like, Woo! like it's all it's like slowly coming back to me. And then you said it, I was like, no... <laughs> God damn it, Drew. Anyway, fucking Satania. It's like, alright, we're gonna play a great game and I need fucking No wait. It was Raffi. Raffi was like, I need Satania to help me out. So she buries her up to her fucking chest yeah. in the fucking sand. And it's like, alright, this is called watermelon splitting. Splitting splitting. Splitting. Excuse me. Like the new hit movie, Split. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll explain uh, it later. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh is it about bananas? No. 
Then what the fuck would you watch it for if it ain't about bananas? It's about a dude with multiple personality disorder who kidnaps a bunch of girls. Oh, that movie. Yeah. yeah. It should have been about bananas. Okay. Anyway. Continue. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. I, I mean, I, I didn't really get the idea of the game. Uh, the water. I think it was just the yeah. freaker out. I think because I saw in another show they did that same thing. Like, like they, they, they buried put up, someone in, and it's like you have to, they, but they actually had a watermelon. So it was like. You have to pick between the two. Yeah. You have to be like, oh, is it, am I going to crack open my friend's skull or hit this watermelon? Man, Japan got some fucked up games, dude. <laughs> I guess why. <laughs> it's just, man, it's fucking. Oh, I'm going to bash my friend's skull and I'm yeah. going to bash fucking watermelon. See, in. that's why Kyle hasn't been a part of these. We played that game with him and well, He's you can guess what happened. Yep. He broke our watermelon. <laughs> I was saving that for a rainy day, that <laughs> fucking cunt. So we sent him home early. Sent him home early. Like, no, we were growing that. He was supposed, we had two of them. One of them was awesome, and one of them was kind of gross. He hit the awesome one, dick. I, okay. <laughs> what? I you don't know. remember that, Drew. I don't remember having the shitty one. Yeah, exactly. So I tried to just, fuck it. I don't, I don't know anymore, Drew. You're fucking ruining me. Whatever, point Ruining me. I'm just kidding. So so Rav, so Gabriel obviously gets into this game and is all like, ooh, I can hit Satania with a stick. Yeah, this sounds you can great. See through the fucking blindfold. Yeah, they blindfold her, but not like enough to make her like make it so that she can't see. So then she's like, she's like, she gets like this creepy face. Yeah. Because she's like excited to hit her in the head. And then it does that thing where like it cuts to the sky. You hear her hit her head and then just like the echo of her voice and like. It does the. Her, her, like, smile. I'm like, Yeah, the what fade the in fuck? the sky like she died. <laughs> and the cock cutting. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I that think episode. about. <laughs> and it's like, and then it cuts to her, and it's just like, you just see, like, the ghost of her, like, leaving her body. Yeah. Ugh. So what happened What happened after that? I'm like, pretty sure it's just, like, the, you know, that, that small guy. Oh, yeah. But that's she, whatever. Yeah, so Tanya got uh, Lucille'd from The Walking Dead. Oh my, sealed. fuck you, dude. It's, <laughs> I didn't mean that joke, you fucking ass. <laughs> Ugh, totally nagging her. Ugh, Lucille. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. So then Gabriel and uh, Satania start throwing sea cucumbers and jellyfish at each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's like, oh, look at the usual, like, everyone splashes their friend. And of course, they show Vine and uh, Raffi. Raffi, and it's that usual, like, we're gonna get up close, and then pull back, and it's gonna go at an angle, they're gonna be yeah. there laugh, and then like the water's gonna splash. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. And then it goes to fucking Gabriel and fucking Satania. It's just like, boom! It's like the fuck was that? It's like it's a sea cucumber. <laughs> oh yeah, and she picks something up, and throws a fucking uh, jellyfish at it. It's like, what if that would have stung me? And then the epic battle between heaven and hell starts. <laughs> they just start throwing sea cucumbers and jellyfish at each other. Hell yeah. Like, how is it there's this one spot in this entire ocean that has just an abundance of sea cucumbers and jellyfish? I mean, you're the one who's giving me shit because I've never played Pokemon. But that's where they spawn, bro. I never gave you shit about not playing Pokemon. I'm just saying. They all spawn. That's where the sea cucumbers spawn. And that's where the fucking jellyfish okay. spawn. Okay. It makes about it. That's, that's enough explanation for me. That's I don't how need nature real works, science. An sure. anime. An <laughs> anime. Oh. So, the the time comes then, they leave the beach, but they get into the, the changing room, and then Satani is like, oh, I was smart, I wore my bathing suit under my clothes, so I can change right away. And then, when they, they have to change to go home, she's like, shit, I forgot my underwear. <laughs> so, and then Vine walks in and has, like, spare underwear for her, and she's like, oh, thanks, slave. So then she just holds it up for him, and he's like, I'm sorry, give me the underwear. Exactly. Oh. So, um, so then it cuts to them being in the fucking subway, and you know they're all sleeping. They have a good time like you would after uh, the beach. So this is the funny part. Um, so I'm like, oh, it's over. So I cut it. The and credits like, roll. Yeah. She was like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, the credits. The show's over. He's like, no, dude. I don't know why, but they put the credits early. It was like 15 minutes in. Yeah. So they still. So it was like two minutes of credits and credits, and like, like, like seven or eight se minutes. Yeah, seven or eight minutes of something else. Which, um, Drew, you want to explain that really? I don't feel like we need to explain this much. Yeah. But I definitely want to talk about something that I think is interesting. Mm. The the main point of, like, after this credit part is just explaining how Vine met Gabriel. And it's like, this is Gabriel back when she was a kind, lovely angel who was like, oh, I'm going to be the best person I can be before she was tainted by the horrors of MMOs. Yeah. And uh, basically what happened was just that, like, Vine got lost on her way to her apartment and Gabriel was like, oh, let me help you. 
and is just like so she brings her to her apartment is like oh i don't have any friends either can we be friends and vina was like yeah sure whatever and that's kind of what happened but satania the whole time vina's explaining it to her is just like yo who is that like who's that other person you said you met that's not gabriel and it's just like yeah that that was her because satania never knew gabriel before she was like Fuck lazy it. yeah now you want to hear my two cents of it sure um so like five it was maybe f- six minutes of gabriel being old gabriel and one minute of just regular gabriel yeah those six minutes sucked they were boring they were shitty and it was dumb that's why this show's good this is why because that old gabriel if it because then to me this show isn't funny anymore it's a regular fucking like oh we're friends let's be friends and it's just a friendship anime. Uh, but no, yeah. but you see where I'm getting at. Yeah. But it's just like, but when you cut it to like, oh, look how delightful she is. Like, and like Raffi, I was like, oh, she was the most delightful, most lovely girl. And, you know, you get that, that weird, like, oh, she's so cute. You know, what a great person. This is that and this. And you realize how boring it is. You realize how yeah. boring it is. The fact that she's not being that funny character. She's not being the lazy Gabriel we all know. Mm. And watching, I'm not saying the show was bad. I'm just saying, if this was the show, I wouldn't fucking watch it. You, you, you get me, Drew? On yeah. That? Like, if it was just, oh, and then now it's the adventures of these two girls who like hanging out and doing cute stuff. It would have just been, like, very generic. It'd be super generic and super boring. So, like, within the show, it just flips that idea. Mm. In the sense of, like, well, she gave up. <laughs> and then now yeah. she's like fuck it and like this is great and it's funny because like uh just to get like on a personal level uh you know like before it was the whole zuko sama thing i was pretty much like gabriel before anything i was very nice i was very <laughs> like really? like you know i like to help, i like to help people still but i was very like you know that light-hearted yeah this is great now i'm just like fuck it dude <laughs> and it's and like my life's been a lot more interesting the show's more interesting yeah. now because of it. But you see where I'm getting at? It's mm. because it's not the generic thing. Yeah. It's legit. Because I want to say, I've been wanting to say it like this. I want to say what I'm watching. This is fucking boring. <laughs> Only because in my head, I was like, if this was just the show by itself, no. But because you go back and you have to stand, you're like, who the fuck is this person? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are you talking about? And they're like, no. That was Gabriel before anything happened. That's Gabriel one. You mean you're meaning Gabriel yeah. two? <laughs> That's right. Who's even... sleeping the entire time this thing's going on because yeah. she's like, "Fuck this homework. I'm going to bed." <laughs> was yeah, because the point, the reason they were talking in the first place is because Gabriel forgot to do her homework as you do over summer vacation. It was just like, "Vine, help me. Yeah. Let me copy your homework," which that always happens too. Exactly. There's always a character that's like. Hey, I forgot to do my homework over summer vacation. Can I can, can I copy yours? Mm. Yeah. So, I got something really interesting to say. Really yes. Quick, Drew. Um, one thing I noticed about this episode, and it makes me laugh because I watch it, and I'm like, oh my god, there's one huge thing why Drew likes Satania too. Why? She, ha- she does, a, as, as I would call it right at the moment, the Sakurako face. It is the less than and the greater than sign. For the eyes and the yeah. dot in the middle. Sakurako in uh, Yuri Yuri does it all the time. In this episode, she does it a lot. If anything, she's the only character that does it. Huh. And I'm like, that's why when we watch Is the Order a Rabbit, I'm like, you're going to like that character. Because she does the less than and greater than. Charo? Yeah. But huh. even though you didn't like her, but still. but like, I like, never said that. I said No, but that. I know what you mean. You said you have other ones that you like better. Yeah. But I'm like, who's going to like that? And I realized that's why. Because that type of, like, I'm smart, but I'm really not smart. <laughs> yeah. But I play it off, like, quote-unquote, really well. Yes. Uses that face a lot. Yeah. And I noticed, I was watching the show, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, Sakurako does that. The other girl from Is Your Rabbit, and she does I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> I think I figured it out. <laughs> I, I never would have noticed that. Because I, I know for me is... um. It's funny because it's the eyes. This is actually a really interesting mm. point. Um, I like Yuna and Kasani in the sense of, you know, even though she's yandere crazy, but she has those. It's not the yandere eyes, but another example is Rem from uh, ReZero. When she goes into the uh, demon mode 
and she kind of loses it, and she has those like those hollow eyes thing. Yeah. And she's fighting. I noticed I like that in a lot of my anime characters who can fight, especially the girls. And like I'm like that's hot, <laughs> even though she's like fully like hypnotized by fighting. <laughs> I'm like that's hot, and I realize that I'm like I like that look for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> but yours is hilarious because it's the <laughs> the less than greater than. Time. I would have never got that had you not pointed that out. But I'm like, wait a minute, because like in the first few moments, Satania's constantly doing it, and I'm like, I've seen this. I need yeah. to tell Drew. I'm gonna tell him in the podcast. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Now that you're saying it, like I'm thinking about that. Yeah, it is. Well, like... If you think about all the just think about all the other characters that you like in other shows, just think about them. I'm not saying mm. now, but just in general. Yeah. So my question for the for the rest of this week is, um, what are those characteristics that you find the most interesting in an anime character that comes to mind? So uh, feel free to write that down in the comments, guys. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to read that. Yeah, I'd love to read that too. It's funny, I was talking to somebody, like one of the biggest ones when I was first watching anime is uh, the yellow eyes. Big. Very few characters have yellow eyes, and I love it. Like when I it was started from Ryoko from Tenchi Moyo, and like ever since then, if there's a character with yellow eyes, I'm always like that one. <laughs> and it's always yellow eyes and gray hair. Those two are always together. I don't know why. Does Raphael have that? She ha I don't know. I have to look into it actually. But the gray hair really sells it to me. Yeah. <laughs> like for me, I've noticed, like you said, with Sharo from Is the Order Rabbit and Sakurako, and then another character from another show, it's like the hair that comes that like yeah, comes you were telling me that like it comes down but has like the little curls at the end. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, I like that hair type, that hair style. <laughs> I think that's why because I noticed that with a bunch of the characters I like. Nice. So yeah, that yeah. was yeah, that was episode four, dudes. Yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed our recap of it. Uh, we gotta get home soon. The train's gonna be leaving soon. We still gotta change out of our bathing suits. I didn't bring underwear. Yeah, well, oh well. Gotta go. Go. Gotta go buy some. Like I fucking care. I'm gonna walk on no underoos on. Fuck this, man. Uh, all right. Do it fine. anyway. Do it all the time. Fine. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna dry off, and uh, you guys are gonna have a fun time. And don't forget to leave uh, in the comments what are those characteristics of anime characters you like. Uh, yeah, so I, well, I'm going to say it now because Drew didn't say it. Uh, this concludes the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this concludes the fuck. <laughs> I don't think that's good. In this scenario, we've written up. Oh I don't think <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I don't think that's good. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this concludes the fucking meeting of the fucking Jelmo videos watching Animu podcast. Club podcast. Club podcast. Catch you dudes next time. Have a nice evening.